This is Daisy. And I'm Marie. She's helping to keep the chicks in the tub while I put them out in their cage. While I put them out two by two into the cage. Robots. It's still a little chilly out. See, I'm wearing a fleece sweater there. But I think the chicks need to start exploring grass and sunshine. Here I am closing the gate. That's what the, I'm sorry about that vibration, but I'm closing the cage. Keep them safely inside. When they get a little older, they'll know this is home. This is where food and water are for them. And they'll, they'll come back to it in a hurry. And Daisy's counting her chicks. I'm going to let the big hens out. I'm slowly introducing my big hens to the little chicks. I have had a problem with my older hens being aggressive towards the little chicks and chase them away. And I hope to avoid having that happen again. So, I like to think they're getting used to each other. Nice and safe. And leaving the camera out with the chicks for a little while, I have learned more about chickens by spying on them. These chickens in the background are the young chickens that were chased off by the older chickens. So what you're going to see, I'm going to zoom in and get as much of this as I can. You see, there's one of my chickens on the roof of the cage, and there's the other one. I also believe those two chickens are the ones that had disappeared for two nights and Daisy had to help me get them back. But they're on the top of the cage and what you'll see next is they're going to fly off and out of the run. I don't have a cover over the run. But they'll come home. No, I'm not worried about them being out. There they go. They just flew off. I had six chicks run off by my two older hens. And Daisy cornered one by the foundation of a building. She chased one out of the brush and pinned it underneath my canoe. She found one under an old tire. And the two that just flew off, I'm pretty sure those are the two. They're always together. She found them in this briar thicket. I could not get them out. I tried loppers. I tried to bait them out with other chicks. There they are. They're deep in that briar. I tried to lop them out with loppers. I tried food, water, and baiting them out with other chicks in the hamper. I eventually did get them. Two, nights, two days later, I got them out, and all six were reunited again in their cage safe from the <laughs> hens that chased them away. So, now this is how I introduce them to the hens that I have. And again, the hens that you saw on the shrubs, I think are these hens that I have now. I put a cover over the cage keep a little of the sun off. They can get out in the sun if they want. They can get out of the light and take a nap. There's a bucket in there. I'd like them to learn to lay their eggs in a bucket. So I want them to... And another thing I've learned, having a camera on, on my chickens. These little chicks eat about a cup of food every three or four days. I have a 50-pound bag of 
baby chick food, and it lasts. I still have it when I bought it the day I got the chicks. One day it, I'd lost a lot of food, and I thought, wow, they're eating a lot. No, look behind Pidgey here. You see, the bigger hens can reach through the cage, and they're eating the baby food. I like that feeder. I get very little food loss from it. It doesn't get spilt. Hanging from the top of the cage. It's easy to handle. I, I just pour their food through the top of the cage and into it. It's open on the top. That's why it's got to be under the cover so it stays dry. So, they didn't just eat a lot of food all of a sudden in a growth spurt. My hens ate it. So, yes, and it's a pretty bird. Um, all I did was push the, uh, hang it further into the center of the cage so the hens can't reach it. Well, that's how the chicks are doing on week four. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again.